Welcome back to the talk. Well, a school in Derbyshire has come under fire for asking new pupils at the school to choose from a list of, you got it, 42 <laughs> gender pronouns. School leaders sent parents an admissions form that asked them to select a gender for their 11-year-olds. The list included the pronouns, you know them, Z, Zim, Z, Zis, Z self as well, of course, <laughs> as V, V, Viz, Vos, and not forgetting, V self. <laughs> the same school had previously made headlines over its Dragon Rainbow themed non uniform day, which was later cancelled. Prospective parents called the form bizarre, at, le at the very least, confusing for their children, while school bosses insisted the form is absolutely standard <laughs> and used by thousands of schools across the United Kingdom. Better not be. What? I mean, this is unbelievable, <clears throat> for heaven's sake. Seriously? I was hoping it was April Fool's Day when I was asked to sort of talk about this. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I just think, let's be clear, there are two sexes and two genders, and they're one and the same. And, to, and the parents have... They've proven the point. It's confusing for children. It causes them anxiety. And as such, frankly, it's a breach of safeguarding. Yeah, and a little bit of be technicality. Technicality. No, no, there's no, no technicality. No, 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 there is technicality. There is let's, technicality. Let's just deal with the technicality. First of all, let's deal with biological sex. So there are oh, two you and a half... No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, there are two sexes it. and two so genders, there is, Full stop. There is, there is uh, male, female and intersex. So that's how you're genetically born. How people gender themselves is different. Now, you have a very clear... No, 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 you have a very clear view. That's fine. We understand it. But there are other people who don't share that. Now, are they helping deal with a whole range of issues that arise by providing 42 pronouns for people to use? No, absolutely not. It probably makes it worse because it allows people like you to spout your nonsense. So, <laughs> let's be clear... But the parents are the ones of their children. Yes, it's with their this. children who say it's confusing. Them. Yes, absolutely, such, I agree. It's a breach of safety. I agree. I agree. Which, which so where I nonsense. agree with you is that providing 42 pronouns is not only confusing, it's stupid and it, and it debases the whole conversation that should be had, not only with parents but also with, with schools and in schools. Because I think if you overcomplicate it and also if you, if you become too overrun by ideology, then I'm afraid you're never going to get to the right answer. Because what you really want to do is you want to stop children who either are going to be persecuted or are persecuted at school or, or are bullied or anything else for who they are. And also, we need to have clearer guidance. Now we know a little bit more about all these things. We need to have clearer guidance so that we can make people's lives better. That's ultimately what you want to do. Don't you want to stop bullying? Of course, but uh, of course everybody wants to stop bullying, but there are many other ways of doing that. If you are confusing children, if you're causing them anxiety, if you're causing them to question their gender when they are children, that is frankly, but, it is dangerous. Richard, it is a breach of the but, safeguarding but Richard, rules. But I'm not suggesting that you do. I'm children, not suggesting that you do. Children and teenagers have been questioning their genders for hundreds of years. We know that this is a fact. Seriously? Yes. yes. You can go back into any history books and find people who were in some form in or tiny, another... In tiny, tiny numbers. Yeah, trans. Exactly. It in is tiny still numbers. tiny numbers, it's but there's not. also you've got, been... You've got classes of 11-year-olds where a third of the class are questioning and their gender. That is dangerous. And you also have a huge number of very confused, and I agree with you, but they've always been confused, teenagers who need and want to be listened to. I agree, 42 genders is ridiculous and makes a mockery of what it should does. be a Social serious mockery. issue. I mean, and also, it just sounds ridiculous. I mean, Z and Z herself sounds like somebody off LO Hello doing a it bad was fun, German, really, to be honest. It, doing it a sounds, bad German it sounds, it sounds like the 1940s went wrong. Yeah, yeah. It, exactly. Yeah. Or somebody with a speech impediment. And actually, that all that sort of thing, I think, would lead to bullying yeah. rather than helping bullying. But I think just being really draconian and saying, you know, the that nothing has changed and it's two genders and it's two sexes is just... That's the reality. Where, mean, did, where did the word gender come from? It came from the 15th century and when you actually look at it, it said male or female. But well, I'm glad that we know a little bit like more than the 15th, the 15th century, because I think we do. I mean, there were a lot of things in the 15th century that people did. These and there was, was burning things, people, are, drowning they, people they, in they, lakes. These, are, these are feelings, that... they're not genders. There are only two genders, male and female. And I can tell you, up and down the country, People I speak to, particularly parents and grandparents, they are steaming mad but about Richard, what's going on But, Richard, it sounds schools. like you're electioneering on this issue. I'm sorry to say that. It sounds like you are it sounds appealing like, to It sounds a... like we're in a little metropolitan yeah. Westminster bubble. Guys, no. I don't think out, it's fair to street. say it sounds like he's electioneering. Richard's I'm also a parent. Thing. He's also a parent, and I'm a parent of three young children, and I find some of this stuff incredibly disturbing. 
and I tell it to my own is. children about yes. it, and they are bewildered by it, as were those children in the classroom that we heard in that school in Rye who were being lectured by their teacher that they were despicable not to respect someone's decision to self-identify as a cat. This is where this ridiculous debate has led us. It is not good for children. No one wants bullying. Okay, but, but when, when bit, people but get it wrong, not, I agree with you. You see, where you're notes. right, where you're right, and you see, this is this is the problem that two things have happened. First of all, we've allowed the debate to become polarized, which then means that we can't have a proper discussion. And the second thing is that when it comes to trying to have sensible conversations. There are some people who have not really been informed very well, and therefore they do it. They do it wrong. I mean, JJ, look, you, you know, you're a parent. How do you deal with this? You're probably <laughs> going to be draconian and, <laughs> and, and, and agree I, with Richard. I, I suppose I'm draconian in this sense that my kid is almost three years old, mm. and he understands that women generally have breasts and men have willies. That's it. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. He he recognises my body anatomy and yeah. says, "Mummy doesn't have that," and that's it. Yeah. But if my son grows up and says he wants to change gender or he or his his non-binary or whatever. I'm okay about it. I don't. I don't really care as long as he's happy and he's he's uh, he's looked after. That's all that matters. But look, let's stop talking about gender and let's instead speak about gender. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, one term that has caused the divide on the internet over the past 24 hours is the phrase cis or cisgender. That's the term for someone whose gender identity matches the sex they were assigned at birth. So, in these terms, I'm a cisgender man. Still with me. No. <laughs> Twitter CEO Elon Musk has weighed in on whether the term is offensive or not after one social media user claimed to have been targeted by pro-trans activists who used the phrase. In response, Musk said, the word cis or cisgender are considered slurs on this platform. But when asked by another user whether it was acceptable to refer to themselves as cis, Musk replied, call yourself anything you want. So do you find the term cisgender offensive? I don't find it offensive. I'm so personally. uneasily offended. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah that's it. I'm not easily offended. I find it unnecessary, but that's not the same as finding it offensive. I yeah. think if you, we should treat it the same way that we treat people's pronouns. If I've got cis male in my bio, then people can call me a cis male, but I don't. I don't care if I'm called yeah, cis or not. Exactly. I, I agree with you. You see, I'm not offended by it, but I wouldn't use it. And in the same way, I don't want people using my pronouns. That you can call me what you like. And care. Twitter, by the way, have got much worse words oh, all over yes. that, all over the site. <laughs> oh, yeah. they've got I've way seen... more problems than cis yeah. or gender. <laughs> Racist words against brown and black people. Anti-Semitic words. Terrible. And when I report oh, them, Twitter stop. reply and say this hasn't broken our community guidelines. Or whatever. Right. There's a lot of cleaning up. But I think that, words I on think there. a lot of people are really confused by what cis means. I mean, a lot of people would say, you know, cis is normal, and then other people would say, that's offensive to trans oh. people. So you see, you see and this is, it gets <laughs> that's when ridiculous. you use the word normal. Yes, no, exactly. So, so nobody, you know, we all know probably now that using normal is an insult to somebody. But I think, I was speaking to a friend about this whole cis thing earlier, and she is a straight woman was born as a woman, you know, she, and she hates the word cis, because mm -hmm. she thinks it's an insult. She's like, I'm just a woman. Can't yeah. I just be a woman? Yeah. You know, and, and women have fought for me to, you know, not to be put in a box. Like, yeah. and she, and I kind of got it when she was talking about it, why she found it yeah. so irritating. Yeah. But I totally but, get it. But I think one of the reasons perhaps is that there are so many different groups who have been marginalised over a period of time who have then fought for either their identity or to be treated in the same way or to be treated in, in uh, with equality. And then once you have that equality and then you realise that maybe there's another group coming along and maybe you've got to shuffle along the sofa a bit, it's just like, oh, really? Yes, and, yeah. and that, I think, is a, a, yeah. is a real problem in the same way that 20 years ago we would have been having conversations about uh, same-sex relationships and marriage. I remember, you know, when I first started doing uh, phone-in radio shows, you know, you would have all this, I don't see that marriage between two people who are the same sex should be allowed, it should be, you know, it's not, it said Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve and all this stuff. And we kind of got used to it and it's like, okay, get over it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the debate that we're now having. And I think we've just got to have a proper debate so that we understand. Because the thing is, whatever you want for other people, it doesn't actually matter what you want for them. It's what they want for themselves. But, how, but, but changing... That's the, but that's the point. It's for themselves. It's mm. not for them to say how we've got to conduct exactly, our life. To label how we decide. Else. If I want to consider myself normal, I'm going to call myself normal. The only normal people are I don't people want to be you don't know me very well. Normal. But I would say that the the for me, in, in order to accommodate another group, it shouldn't be a case of that another group has to then change their how they are addressed. So a woman shouldn't become a cis woman to accommodate 
women from the trans no, community. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and this is kind of where I come from on the pronouns thing. I don't really care what people want to call themselves. And now we're talking about adults now, not kids. Mm. Kids is, you know, much a much more heated debate. When it comes to adults, I don't really give a stuff what people want to call themselves. Mm. But don't tell me what I have to call myself. You know, the, yeah. it's that yeah, exactly. sort of... Don't, yeah. If you don't yeah. want to use pronouns, or if any of us don't want to use pronouns, then let's not use them. And, and frankly, if people, you know, are confused about how they want to, you know, address us, but in, I, I, but I think that's the important point. And in it. some parts of the public sector now, you're almost obliged to use your pronouns. Yeah, even which I think is wrong. To, which yeah. is clearly wrong. Yeah. And it's sort of, it's just making a much bigger issue mm. of something that shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, I can't stand it when I see, see it in the emails at the bottom. You've got the person's oh. name in there, the title, and then in brackets, she, her. Well, I the, had that the, the only, only, the only time I quite teachers, liked that. And I did find that, again, I just thought, <laughs> what? you know, it's not necessary. Yeah. I the only time I, I quite like yeah. that is when somebody's got a name like some Robin or something, and you have or, yeah. or Hillary, <laughs> and you're not quite sure. <laughs> and it's like, oh, what a relief, yeah. now I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm